This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. DJ Wonder in the mix right there, ladies and gentlemen. Get that man a round of applause, man. That boy is bad, man. I, I knew I knew he was going to bring his A game because of our next guest. You know, being that she's from Sweden, and all you know, that's a big music bed for uh, for some of the biggest DJs oh, and biggest yeah. producers in the world. Yes, yeah. So that's DJ Wonder over there. Right, yeah, he looks so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Contain yourself over Wonder, there. Look, look, yeah. Wonder. <laughs> we have the one and only Mercedes Mason is with us. Hey, hey. Fear the Walking Dead. DB, you big, you big fan. I'm a big fan of horror, so the fact that she's here is even more exciting because it's a beautiful <laughs> face with a very scary show. Beautiful so face. Sweet. You had to bring that up, man. I, th- I told you, you know, control yourself when she came in the room. You're married, right? You're a married woman, right? I mean, I'm in New York. You're... Isn't there like a zip code rule? <laughs> Valid. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're going to come back. If you're a Fear the Walking Dead fan, call us, 888-742-3345. We have the one and only Mercedes Mason with us. Yes. Spoiler alert, we did go to Walgreens after that. Y'all went to Walgreens, <laughs> did you really? <laughs> She's here, ladies and gentlemen. The one and only Mercedes Mason has joined us from Fear yeah. the Walking Dead. And very nice, too. Ophelia, Ophelia Salazar mm-hmm. It's the uh, role you play. And, you know, we were sitting. I wanted to have you on the show because um, this whole Walking Dead phenomenon is just really fascinating to me, this zombie apocalypse, mm-hmm. you know. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and we were talking about this subject earlier on the show, one of our biggest fears, you know, coming to life. And I remember being a kid thinking what if the world was like this post-apocalypse like type of environment how would i survive would i be able to survive you know and so i sit at home a lot and i watch shows like the last alaskans yeah and and life below zero yeah you you watch those i do i do even like naked and afraid i always want to know what i yeah if i could survive yeah (laughs) would you if i had to if you had to right i think so i mean isn't that human nature yeah. You just sort of get driven to this point where you somehow figure out a way to survive. Yeah. This is the same reason we can't like drown ourselves in a bathtub. Do you know what I mean? Like yes. human mm. nature instinct is to force you to survive even if it's subconscious. Yeah. So I think unless you're completely weak of will, which I don't think any of us in this room are. So nope. Mercedes, I'm the only one now that Sway brought that up to realize I came clean when they when Sway asked, What's your biggest fear? Mine is to have to do number two at work <laughs> or in any yeah. public Silly. place. That's that's uh, it, Enjoy but it's so it, real. <laughs> it's so real, Mercedes. What's your biggest <laughs> she's still <laughs> Don't do not tell a prankster that. All, you know, that's yeah. the worst thing to tell a prankster because, you know, the the worst thing you could do to somebody then is just put a few drops of Visine, like, in your water because that'll Visine? make you go. Yeah, but if you put too much, you might fuck them up permanently. Really? Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Really? He always Sorry, has Mom. Visine. Well, back then, <gasps> oh. I do because I Have don't... you ever had to go number two? <laughs> Blame him. <laughs> yeah, yes, me, you know, but not because, I, because I don't wear my glasses, so my eyes are always straining. That's why I, w- uh, I put yeah. the Visine in it. Right. Because I don't want to wear my glasses. But I never heard that. Me either. Oh, yeah. Is that huh. something they practice in Sweden when you were growing <laughs> up? Like, <laughs> like spiking people's water with Visine? Oh, my God. I think I learned it from, like, Dumb and Dumber. I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, <laughs> right? So I was going to ask, what was your Life biggest... Life lessons from yeah. really horrible films that make me me laugh. They make you laugh. What was your bi- What's your biggest fear since Sway brought that up? I, I have a, a, so many fears. I mean, where do I begin? Spiders wow. is the most irrational. I mean, they're so tiny, mm. and yet I would climb out a window just to avoid a spider. Tell about the story this morning. Well, the story was there was this 21-year-old construction worker. I was thought you were going to say, there's a spider in here. No, I would have no, no, been no, out. Yeah, you would have been out of there. Yeah. interview over. I and, jumped uh, through the window. You, really? Okay, so, um, <laughs> and this guy was on a construction site, and he decided he wanted to go use the bathroom. And when he went to use the bathroom, he was doing number two, which Heather always advises not to do at work. <laughs> right. And all of a sudden, he felt a, yeah, he felt a sharp pain, like a stinging sensation. And it turned out that he had got bitten on his penis oh! by a red back spider. Yes. A poisonous spider. They had to rush him to the hospital. Shitty booty and all. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Did they cut it off? The no. spider. <laughs> no, I mean the penis. No, 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 no. no, no, no. They, they cut he off the spider. It. You know. Oh, they did. <laughs> yeah, was it still on there? It probably was sucking. You know. Oh, oh, God. That's what spiders. That's what they do. They suck. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Suck blood, Literally you know? and figuratively. Yeah, 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 exactly. Spider. So, so you don't oh like spiders, God. huh? No, no. Okay. Uh-uh. 
fear of heights. I mean, there's so many things. Wow. <laughs> He's just a scary cat. How's he even <laughs> making no, it? But yet, but yet, there's other things. Like, if I was in the apocalypse, I would have no problems just, like, bashing a skull in yeah. if I needed to survive. Yeah. What kind of sick human being? <laughs> yeah. You're Swedish. That's what it is. So <laughs> that's what is going on. Is this Sweden, like, one of the happiest places in the world yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah. And they treat women really well, right? Oh, yeah. It's one of the most egalitarian countries in the world. That's it's freaking fantastic. awesome. It's fantastic. There's, like, equality everywhere. It's When you have a child, for example, you get paid leave for at least a year, I think, if I'm not. Hmm. And the husband gets, like, six months as well because they, they believe in having the family unit grow together, obviously. So the Swedish fish start there? I mean, the candy. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, I remember having it as a kid. That so. sounds like a happy place where Swedish fish really birthed. I mean, look at them. The women are happy. The men are happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Candyland. I got, I've it's never total been, Candyland. Yeah, yeah I've you never gotta been. Go. I got to go. go. Sway. But I, I was I was a like a the odd man out when I was in Sweden um, because I'm, I'm not fully Swedish, obviously. Look at me. Um, so I was like the dark one. My sister got a little bit more of the sweet. She oh. got like the blondish hair and the really? green eyes. Yeah. And so I was like the odd bird out. They kept telling me that I was like abducted and that you oh. know, my real parents would come find me someday. <laughs> did, 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 did people used to call you nigga? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you the sweetest nigga? You the sweetest nigga down the street? Mercedes? Throw Is that that right? You know what? Oh. I was wondering where her name Mercedes came from. That's that definitely. You the black one. The black, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The hood day. You know, play with that nigga down the street. <laughs> wow. Would you like to come play? No, my mama wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was more my Spanish accent. No, just Spanish. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And so you came over to America. We, we, we're we going to get to the show. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're all so fascinated by you. So you came over to America when you were, what, teenager? Yeah, so I was just about to turn 13, I believe. I'm not uh, mistaken. Which, you know, is always fun when you show up in high school. You don't speak the language. Um teenage girls and boys are the meanest creatures i mean i could survive an apocalypse i wouldn't want to be in like high school again yeah. you know what i mean high school's yeah. hard They're right cruel. now cruel and so i didn't speak the language and the number um six in mm-hmm. swedish is sex so you can imagine like horny teenage boys oh, they, they figured this out real fast and so they would ask me these questions where the answer was six like what's three plus three sex what's eight minus two sex and they're like you're an info I had no idea what this meant. So I would go around. I was very proud of my new label. I would go around and be like, yeah, hello. I'm Mercedes. I'm a nympho. Get (laughs) out of here. (laughs) Yep, yep, yep. Good times, guys. Good times. Good times, times, right? (laughs) Did you ever live up to that stigma? (laughs) 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 Wait, was the quarter win? (laughs) Yeah, right. Six? Six? Uh, Mercedes Mason is here. Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, If you watch this show, give us a call. She plays Ophelia Salazar. Um, 888-742-3345. Let's take them to... Oh, no, 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 no. We did a whole Swedish thing. You ready? Play some rock set. Here we go. You know what this is? Yes. Yes, I do. You know, this is... Yeah, Ace of Bass. They're from Sweden. No. No, no? This is not... No. I mean, Technotronic. Technotronic. Okay, so whatever, man. You know what I'm talking about. DB, who was that? Check the truck. Where are they from? Sweden. So is hey. our guest, Mercedes Mason is here. Mercedes. Yay! Yay. Yeah, when, when you took on a, the role of Ophelia, did you did what did you think about the script when you first when you first read? Uh, they didn't give us a script initially. It was all tight lipped, so they gave us like a fake script. They told us it was um, a companion show to The Walking Dead. We had no idea what that meant or uh-huh. what you know if we were taking over the show. We had honestly no idea. They didn't give us any info, so they gave us like these fake sides uh-huh. that we would study from. And then once it got down to me and one other girl, that's when they finally gave us the real script. And it, I, I was so fascinated by it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the idea of, um, you know, like if you think of the zombies, for example, as a catalyst for the human condition, mm-hmm. and you really think of it more as what would happen uh, to humanity, like it brings out the best and the worst, and the zombies just sort of speed that concept up. To me, that was really cool. It's like Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies. You know what I mean? Do you remember that book? Yeah, Fantastic. yeah. Fantastic. The Conch. The Conch, that's right, that's right. So like to me, I think that's a fascinating thing. I think humans, the reason these shows do so well is... Humans have this um, morbid fascination with death, and mm-hmm. this is a safe way of playing out what would happen if you know the world was to end tomorrow. I, w- I want to ask because um, I know that Walking Dead, when it was on, well, I mean that it's still on. Their fans are really crazy about how close they stick to the novel, the comics. Yeah, you know, like they're really, really adamant about, oh, well, this is wrong, and Rick was supposed to have his arm yeah. blown off, and yeah. this, that, and the other. So your guys' show is 
I we have no blueprint. It's, yeah, it's kind of yeah. like a prequel to what happens in The Walking Dead almost. And do you ever come across crazy fans who were like, "Oh, is this going to happen?" And this, like, do they ever try to get stuff out of you about? No, because we haven't even gotten to the point where we find Rick in the coma yet. Mm-hmm. So we haven't even caught up to that timeline. So there's mm-hmm. there wouldn't be a comparison. And because we're in a different part of the country, um, you know, that hasn't been written about. Okay. But what I love is that we get to see what happens all over the all, all over the country. You can kind of imagine what would happen in the rest of the world. The fact that we're on the water, for example, how right. do the walkers deal with you know mm-hmm. being in the water? And, and Walking Dead, like their characters are already past the point. They're so deep into we've been dealing with this yeah. for so long that their humanity is almost gone in a sense. Right. You guys are still dealing with, you know, having to kill people that you find that are just like suffering. And, they're, yeah. you know, you have to you came across the guy in the airplane. That's right. And uh, his spine was hanging out. And the kid had to, Whoa, the guy yeah. was begging, like, please kill me. Like, I've been sitting here with these zombies on this airplane In and pain. somebody had to kill yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So, I mean, that's, it's, it's kind of crazy. It gives you a look at, like, what would really happen to humanity. Yeah, like exactly. And how far can you push yourself? I mean, what is morality at that point? If there, you know, if there's no law anymore, is it, is it ethics? Is you, it morality? You what? had, uh, there was a couple that um, one of the guys got bit and you attached them to a raft and dragged him on the boat, and you said, we're not getting him on the boat, but we'll tow you. Yeah. Then yeah. the guy comes along and cuts the raft and was yep. like, fuck that. Yep, yep, yep. You're on your own. You're on your own. I mean, you know, at what point <laughs> is something dead weight? Y'all should go on a date. I mean, really, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Show ends at 12. <laughs> She's like, married. There was, a, there was a moment happening right here between the two of you guys. But it was fangirl like, fanboy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, then the, and then this is what happened next. And, and Mercedes was all up into it. Yeah, yeah, right? The spinal cord was hanging. Ooh, wow. That was good, DB. That was pretty good. You know what? <laughs> We're gonna go to a song and, and just <laughs> let it breathe. <laughs> let it breathe for a minute. You know, make the it play. Thick yes. in here. Yeah, yeah. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Your fan, give us a call. Swing the money. Mercedes Mason, Phil yeah, yeah. Salazar. She's here right now. Fear the Walking Dead Sundays. Make sure you uh, watch it on AMC. Mm-hmm. Um, really popular show. Yeah. Part of a popular series. We're all kind of fascinated by it. Don't understand quite what it is <laughs> about death and gore that we all seem to like, right? Mm-hmm. Especially DB. DB just fanned out on you right there. <laughs> Did you feel uncomfortable? Like, uh, Loved it. What do you mean? You I was full it? on with him. We were, we were playing <laughs> tennis just now. Back exactly. and forth. <laughs> yeah, man. Ain't no wrong with being a fan. No, 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 not at all, man. I just never seen you get so excited. Well, if he was a dude, I'd have been like, so, uh, you know. You would have played the cooler? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. We, got, we got Josh on the line from Georgia. If you want to speak with uh, Mercedes Mason, 888-742-3345. Josh, what up, man? What Josh. up, Josh? Hey, Josh. Well, how y'all doing? Doing okay, man. You're, fe- uh, you're, f- you're a fan of Fear the Walking Dead? Man, I love this show. I'm a truck driver, so I leave home on Sunday. I don't get a chance to watch it then, so I watch it on my tablet every week. Yeah. It's like... When uh the Walking Dead ain't playing, when they go on break until they make the next season or something, and that come on, you know, he gives. I love zombies, and I love the show, and it's just, you know, I I just love it, man. And and uh, she's a great character, and I love her. She's sexy. Uh, like thanks, Josh. You, you said she's sexy, Josh. Is that what you threw in there? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got sexy Mercedes. So. Why, thank you, Josh. Yeah. And you guys just got renewed, right? Or is it a third season? Third season. Yeah, third season? we just heard. Congrats. Congrats. More money. Thanks, More man. money. More money. Hey, so, hey. so who, so who uh, do you know any other Swedish celebrities that you hang out with? Like the, anybody from the Swedish mafia and all that? <laughs> yeah. Swedish mafia. <laughs> y'all, y'all hang out or something? Uh, one of my girlfriends is actually a uh, beautiful her, her name's Minnie Anden and she's uh like when you land in Stockholm her billboard is like welcome you will come in to Sweden oh shoot uh, Minnie Anden yeah she's she, gorgeous she's on the billboard she's on a billboard when you land in Stockholm I mean last time we were there she was at least yeah she's full-on supermodel beautiful girl but none of the Swedish house mafia dudes no, no, no. I haven't met that <laughs> although I'm a huge fan I saw them at Coachella and lost my mind yeah a few years back Swedish women like black guys right I heard oh this. yeah yeah oh yeah damn that's why you're looking at DB like that <laughs> <laughs> I, I it sounds like it's some connection there, right? I know some girls in Malmo. Uh, yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah? you know. Have you been? Never been to Sweden, but I have a few friends. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Oh. All I right. Feel like uh, I, I need to be like, I love my husband. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah, honey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so listen, before you go, we do this thing. Um, and your husband may not appreciate this, <laughs> but um, I need you to stick your hand in my sacks. <laughs> go ahead and reach in. Dig deep, dig deep. <laughs> Put your hands into Sway's sack. That sounds gross. 
It sways mystery sack on Shade 45. It's only a bag, y'all. It's only a bag. <laughs> Tea bag. All right. All right so- Whoa. <laughs> you the the listeners should look. know, by the way, that Sway's sack is covered in golden glitter. That's right. Man. <laughs> All right. You're going to stick your hand in, Mercedes. You're going to uh, <laughs> grab three questions, one at a time, though. Read okay. it out loud. Gotta, and gotta. you have to answer honestly. <laughs> Fuck, Mary kill. I love these. Ted Cruz, Bernie Sander- Sanders, Donald Trump. Oh, good Lord. Definitely. Kill Donald Trump. Oh, wow. <laughs> kill him twice. Revive no, this him is kill for him again. jokes. This is joking. First of all, you got to say that. Yeah. It's Matter of fact, joke. you can't even do that question, right? That's just a joke. It's a joke, guys. It's, it's a, a joke. joke. <laughs> all right. Um, oh, my God. I guess I would marry Bernie Sanders and then... I don't, I don't want to have sex with Ted Cruz. I don't want to. Do that. <laughs> Can I just be really frigid? <laughs> Thank you so much, Teddy. Um, no thanks. I have a headache. <laughs> I have a headache. That's great. That's great. All right. <clears throat> if you were starving, your only options were eat a human or eat your pet dog, which I would eat a human so fast. Before your pet? Oh my God, that's my baby. What? Would, if somebody looks at him the wrong way, I lose my. Sh- my Junk. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could have said shit. You could have. I could have. Yeah. I would have uh, lost my shit. Yeah. Nobody's. Yeah. You would my kill like you before you. What kind of pet? Hundred percent. What kind of pet you have? He's a little chihuahua named Wedgie. Oh man, that's an appetizer. Wedgie. <laughs> Wedgie. <laughs> Wedgie. I love that. I, name. I, I saved him from the brink of death, and I love him. Um, if someone you loved was bitten by a zombie, would you put them out of their misery before they turned or after? Oh wow. Um, no, I mean, I guess I would let them get just to the precipice of turning and mm-hmm. then do it. I mean, can you imagine, like, if they're still looking at you and you had, like, coffee with them yesterday? <laughs> Mom, <Mama>, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you birthed me, but I got to cut to your head. head off. Wow. <laughs> Yo, Mercedes, you got a real kind of, like, <laughs> dark, st- dark side uh-huh. to it, right? Like, there's mm-hmm. something going on with she Mercedes. She wants to prank me. Like, you can tell where her mind is I, going. It's going. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Oh. I'm relishing at the thought. <laughs> Guys, we got to plan this now. Plan Next time right? I'm on, I'm on. Well, it's tell her what you do when you go in the bathroom. What do you do? What's your fetish? Why would you do this? Okay, so. <laughs> you got a bathroom fetish? Ugh. I peek under the, the stalls to see who's in there with flat feet taking a dump. So I <laughs> so I know not to shake their head at work. <laughs> she, looks, she, she looks at their shoes. And if she sees your shoes in the hallway, she won't give you a That's handshake. That's amazing. Yeah. I, yeah. What well, if I, they're going, what if they're peeing? No, I can always tell with the pee because you like you do oh, like yeah, this. Oh yeah, you do that. Yeah, you do the squat. You, you, you squat and your feet are up. So oh, flat my feet. God. Is number two. I've studied. I tell DJ Wonder it all the time. I let him know who's taking major shit. Oh, okay, all right. You know, Mercedes. Mercedes, oh, thanks for coming God. by, Mercedes. We love you. Okay. Love you, Mercedes. And you, and you have love to come back. Guys. Fear the oh, walking. Yeah. Fear the Walking Dead Sundays, 9 p.m. Eastern, AMC. All right, we got first day with Kelly Kincaid up next. Swing the that's the best trick ever. It's Sway in the morning. Only from Shea 45. 